In less than a year, there have been two fatal head-on collisions involving wrongway drivers on the West Park Toll Road. And in both cases, a wrongway detection system did not trigger an alert. Now tonight, KPRC2 investigator Robert Arnold continues pushing the Harris County Toll Road Authority for a response. He also talked to a mother who wants answers and a driver who was nearly hit during the most recent crash. That's one of my favorite pictures of her. It's easy for Lindsay Locke to get lost in her memories. She had an unforgettable smile. To get lost in the sound of a voice on the cusp of stardom. She released her first album at the age of 17. Self-written R&B album. It has almost a million streams. Locke's daughter, Jalen Chapman, who went by Jay Renee, was killed last April during an horrific crash on the West Park Toll Road. They informed me that there was an accident and the other victims were at the hospital, but Jay wasn't there. So that's when I started calling the morgue. Police say 33-year-old Bobby Brown was intoxicated when he got on the West Park Toll Road going the wrong direction. He got on the toll road from Post Oak. A wrong way detection system should have notified the toll road authority they had a wrong way driver on the West Park. That way, they could have notified law enforcement and other drivers on the road. That didn't happen. According to the Harris County Toll Road Authority, the sensors in this area had been turned off because of nearby freeway construction. However, those sensors were turned back on the same day we started asking questions. Is that a good enough answer for you? <laughs> no. That's a partial answer. With that question still resounding in Locke's head, imagine the sting she felt when less than a year after her daughter's death, she saw this. Two people are dead and two others injured following a head-on collision. Another driver, Precinct 5 deputies say, got on the West Park at Post Oak going the wrong way. He was in the inside lane, lane one, I was in lane two. Before you know it, I was like, I had an oh moment. Lyft driver Jose Lazo had to pull a quick maneuver to avoid getting hit by the driver of this Chevy Equinox. He dialed 911 and found out later what happened. And there's a fatality. I was like, man, that's the guy who almost hit me. Precinct 5 deputies say the driver, Eric Haynes, was believed to be going 75 miles an hour when he slammed into this private ambulance, killing himself, a paramedic, and critically injuring two other people. My concern was, is like, I thought they had detections on the West Park. They do, except Precinct 5 officials say the wrong way detection system did not activate. The distance from Post Oak to the point of impact just past the Fondren exit is four and a half miles. That would have taken Haynes past multiple sensors, according to this toll road map. And that's a big concern for us because this is going to happen again. We've repeatedly asked the toll road authority why the system didn't activate during this latest crash. You paid more than $1.2 million for this system. It's designed to help protect you, so you deserve this answer. Except the toll road authority isn't talking. The alert system wasn't working on the Eldridge Parkway exit. In the, the past, the toll road authority was up front and answered these questions. And not just after Jay Renee's crash, but also after a 2017 fatal crash when sensors didn't pick up on a wrong way driver getting on the West Park at Eldridge Parkway. This time, though, the toll road authority says it can't talk because of pending litigation. Hectra did, however, tell us the system is tested weekly, monthly, and on a biannual basis. With all this technology, we should know where people come the wrong way. Drivers like Lazo are counting on it. I mean, what else is not working that we're taxpayer that we're paying all this money for? The Harris County Toll Road Authority says its contractor has not yet finished a review of the wrong way alert system following last month's crash. And once that's complete, they will provide an update. In the meantime, some tips to avoid a wrong way driver. Try to scan as far down the road as possible. Don't focus solely on just what is in front of you. If it's late at night, try and stay in the far right lane because a wrong way driver, thinking they're going the right way, will likely be in the far left lane. And if you do see a wrong way driver, coming toward you, take your foot off the gas and pump the brakes. That way you won't lose control while trying to get out of the way as quickly as possible. Robert Arnold, KPRC 2 News.